Hello and welcome to another edition of the uh, OCR Computing F451 video podcasts to help support Eurovision. Uh, this one is based on the Systems Lifecycle Feasibility Study. So, the Feasibility Study is to check to see whether the solution is possible or worth doing. So we've already got our problem, we now need to see is it worth actually trying to solve this solution. Okay, is it feasible? Quite common sense really when we think about it, the word feasible, is it worth doing? So is it feasible to do? Okay, so there's a number of different reasons uh, or ways we can look at the feasibility. One of the first ones we will look at is technically, is it feasible? Can the hardware and software be found to implement the solution? Now, that doesn't mean necessarily does the company have the hardware and software to implement the solution. It just means is it actually possible to solve the problem? with hardware and software that is currently available. The next one is time. Is the time scale acceptable? So the time that it will take to solve the problem, is it acceptable? You know, if, it, if it's only going to take us two or three weeks, that's probably going to be acceptable. However, if uh, two or three weeks uh, it would take to do something which we need done by the end of next week, then obviously that isn't going to be um, a suitable time scale. So we need to think about the time scale. Is it acceptable for that situation? Legally, can the problem be solved within the law? Is there are there any laws that will state, <coughs> excuse me, that will state you cannot solve that problem? Um, so that is one of the important ones. Can it legally be solved within the law? Economic, is the proposed solution possible within the budget or is it economic to run? So is it going to cost too much to uh, to build it within a certain budget that needs to be held? Or is it going to be economic to run? Is it going to cost too much money to run? When you actually build it, is it going to save money? Is it going to be economic to run? <coughs> Social, is the effect on humans involved too extreme to be allowed? Is it environmentally sound? Now this could be an ethical thing as well. With computer games you often find this... Um, for example, if you had a computer game that involved uh, robbing grannies, is that ethically uh, acceptable? Um, so that's a, an ethical side. Socially acceptable would be maybe if you were building a new system um, within a factory in a little town and that system would uh, improve the factory no end by allowing you to make redundancies, but then that could uh, cripple the town. Um, so it might not be socially acceptable to do such a system in that situation. Customer effect. If the customer is not impressed, there may not be a point. So we need to make sure that the effect on the customer is going to be a good one. If the customer isn't going to be impressed, then there's probably not a point to build such a system um, because it could have a detrimental effect in the longer term. The skill level required. Is there enough skill in the workforce to use the solution? Be particular on that. This is to use the solution. The final solution that you have, is, the, is your workforce going to be able to use it? Are they skilled enough to use such a system? If not, it's not really worth doing, is it? Cost benefit. Will the solution improve efficiency and therefore be worth building? Uh, ties in a bit. You could argue with economic, but essentially, again, um, is it going to improve efficiency? Is it going to improve speed of the workers? If it's not, if it's not going to improve the speed of the workers, then efficiency isn't going to be affected and therefore it's probably not going to be worth building. <coughs> One little exam tip for you. Read the question carefully. If it gives a specific scenario, then some explanations for checking feasibility may not ring true. Okay? For example, if you say social, need to make sure the system doesn't offend anyone. This may be suitable for a computer game, but would it be suitable for a payroll system? It's unlikely that a payroll system would offend someone, but for a computer game, then that is definitely a social impact that you need to be aware of for feasibility. Uh, that's the end of the video. Thanks for, uh, for watching, and I uh, hope to see you again for another video on the systems lifecycle later on.